Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals. How you doing? Oh, well, it's a hot day here today. Excuse me if I bump the camera. I'm trying to move my chair in. <laughs> um, I've just got a few bits and pieces on my desk here. I thought we would work on Sophia a little more. Um, she just needs some decorating up. Um, I should have got out some pockets and stuff as well. And didn't remember because I'm useless. So <laughs> I have my moments. <laughs> Make sure we're all in frame here. Excuse me while I move you around just a little. That, that should do. That should do us. Okie dokie. Well, what did I pull out? Um, just a handful of little scraps from my bins up here. Um, some little paper snippets that I just had lying around. Some labels if I happen to want some more. There's a few on these paper snippets anyway. A few pictures, a few little bits of my um, watercolour doodles. Uh, some tea bags, a little doily, and I had these stickers that kind of suit our colour palette. Um, oh, we also have this little doohickey, came in a grab bag somewhere, so I might pop that in here as well. Just a little shaker thing. Who knows? Just something different. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I've got floating around my desk. So uh, let's see what we can do with it. I also have a myriad of other things many miles away from me here, not within arm's reach. So we probably won't be using any of those. <laughs> so this is where we got up to last time. We just put our signatures in and we are still waiting to do the inside covers. But today I wanted to do a bit of decorating. Actually what I want to do is put pockets in and now I haven't got my pockets organized but they are in a bin here next to me so I will try very diligently to get my crate lid off without knocking my camera and put it over the other side of me so it's out of the way and I will pull out some pockets I'm losing things down the back of my desk so that's handy okay have a pocket here that's going to be a very big pocket I don't know if that's going to fit but we'll see um, there's a couple of these little style pockets and these ones I don't know if you can see all the pockets I'm putting out here just Tossing a few things on the desk to see whether I like the idea. Maybe one of those, who knows. What else have we got floating around in here? Anything else we can reach? I have been making pockets lately and I've just been dumping them in the top of my box here and unfortunately they have now obviously buried everything else that I had in the Of a smaller one that might one that one might work better. Okay, okay. I know I have other styles of pockets down the bottom of this little box, but getting to them is currently the issue. Getting to them without knocking my camera for six is also a bit of an issue there's a smaller pocket oh, there's a few of these kind of pockets but they haven't been sewn closed so I may or may not use those we'll see okay this is what I grabbed in the way of pockets I do have others but I don't want to spend all my time on camera fossicking around a box that's full too full of other things so Let's find ourselves some sort of solid pages. I like to put my pockets on pages that have a bit of structure, like this, just so that they're not, you know, flopping about the place. Um, 
it also lends itself to bigger pockets does this one fit on here sure does look at that okay well if we're going to do pockets we're going to do ink so let us get our inking tools out I'm not very organized today am I I'd ask whether it's hot where you are, but I'm guessing the majority of my viewers are in the US and no, it's not hot where you are. Um, our seasons run diametrically opposite, so in our summer it's your winter, so I'm guessing it's fairly chilly wherever you are, or very, very chilly wherever you are, depending on your particular location, because yeah, I know some of the US get snow and, and blizzards and stuff and I know Canada certainly does get into the very low negatives. High negatives? Low negatives? Yeah, low negatives. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just having a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a confusion there. So yeah, I don't, uh, I don't envy you. It does not get that cold here, ever. Um, I like the winter. The winter is definitely my favourite sort of. I mean, obviously there's spring and um, autumn, which is I think everybody's favourites because they're just so mild. The weather is always nice in some sort of fashion. It's either just warm enough or just cold enough. But. If I had to pick an extreme, it would definitely be winter in Australia because, well, it's not extreme. Um, I don't like being freezing cold, but I would prefer being cold over being hot. So, I can always put more clothes on, is my theory. Can't always take them more off and be decent for the public viewing. So, I oh yeah. I definitely prefer the winter weather but like I say you probably may or may not consider what I consider winter weather as even very cold because it's not here right. we might overnight on a particularly particularly cold winter and get a minus one or something and uh, everybody walks around complaining how freezing cold they are. <laughs> I used to live in an area that was a little bit colder. You know, minus five wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't an unusual winter morning, but um, yeah. Now, it, uh, I'm near the uh, near the sea uh, where I live, so yeah it's very mild here but summer still gets plurry hot because that's just australia funnily enough i'm not a beach person i uh, don't particularly enjoy going to the beach um, i like looking at it i wouldn't get in the water um, i used to as a kid but what is it about when you get older? You're like, ugh, sand, ugh, flies, ugh, bitey things in the water, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, pro, the pros definitely are not outweighed by the cons when you're an adult. So, um, yeah, I don't go in the water. I mean, I'll paddle around in it and look in tide pools and things if... I get the chance but um yeah I don't I don't really go to the beach to be honest I'm more of a winter beach person I can go down there and watch the crazy waves in the middle of the storm yeah I'll be in that for sure but who wants to be out in the sun getting flies on you and sand stuck in places that weren't designed to have sand stuck in them you yeah, know <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just me. <laughs> There's plenty of beachy people in Australia. They don't need my input to. So. I don't know if I've mentioned I'm in Western Australia. Um, not in the eastern states, you know, Sydney and Melbourne and all the rest of it. Um, I've been pretty much most places in Australia, but uh, yeah. Okay, that's enough inking. But I always come home in the end. So. I was born in Western Australia, I grew up in Western Australia, and I'm still here. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. I always said that, uh, yeah, if anything, if I ever emigrated anywhere, it would be Japan. <laughs> Which is madness because I don't speak Japanese. Yeah, I, can, I can be polite in Japanese. Um, yeah. Do the basics, but yeah, no, I don't speak Japanese. But I've been to Japan and it is probably one of my favourite places on earth. <coughs> I would definitely go back. How odd would it be to emigrate to a place at my age where you don't speak the language? That would be very odd. Interesting. But not an immediate plan, so yeah. I like my little house near the beach in Western Australia where I know where everything is. <laughs> That's something else you work out when you get old as uh, older, old. <laughs> There's just something comfortable about knowing where everything is. So. Adventure is all very well, but it's nice to come home. <laughs> I've left my glass of iced tea on the other desk. I drink a ton of um, chamomile tea all year round, but during the summer I like to have a jug of iced tea in the fridge. Um, not sweet iced tea, just iced tea. Um, it's actually sort of fruit, fruity flavoured iced tea. What am I drinking today? Watermelon strawberry and mint so yeah that's my go-to I always tell you you need eight glasses of water or something a day I don't know I don't know if that's true it's like one of those things you hear and then you hear people say no 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 it's like all the health advice isn't it it was like eat three meals a day now it's like intermittent fasting and yeah you just can't keep up my diet has always been intermittent fasting I don't like eating early in the morning never have so I like that there let's put that there so we have a pocket and we have a little pocket decoration and we'll just glue the bottom of it so that if we really want we can tuck something in there as well Um, these little labels, which you probably can't see because I'm right down the bottom of the page uh, screen again. I tend to do that, craft right next to myself so you can't see what I'm doing. Because, <laughs> of course, that's the whole point of making a video, so you can't see what I'm doing. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm having a little crisis. <laughs> uh, these labels, I made these labels um, out of book pages, um, different mathematical books and um, I think these ones were made from a um, 
like video um, information booklet thing, you know, instruction booklet. Um, yeah, I just got some label stamps stamped around interesting things like numbers and whatnot. Oh, this was coffee dyed before I did it. Uh, the mathematic book wasn't that white, so white. Um, yeah, so I just did that, stamped around anything sort of that grabbed my fancy and then cut them out. Um, I've actually made a digital of these. I don't know if anybody would be interested. I suppose I could put it on my um, my Etsy store if anybody's interested. Let me know. Um, but yeah, that was uh, where I got all those little weird labels from with numbers and pictures and whatnot. Um, this is from a transistor catalogue. Uh, yeah, this this is interesting little things. Just gives me something else to stick on my little yeah, my pages and my sort of um, yeah paper snippets and whatnot. So yeah. See if we have another page that could use a pocket here. It's relatively sturdy. I suppose we could put something on there. What have we got? What do we have here? It's upside down, right way up, upside down. They're all over the place. We can do that. Make a little side tuck. Shall we do that? Why not? Why not indeed? Shall we make it a side tuck everywhere else and then a top pocket? I think so. Clearly gluing takes a lot of concentration. I become suddenly quiet. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else out there does videos. I mean, I mean, I know a lot of people do videos. I just don't know if anybody who does videos watches my channel or has stumbled across my channel at any point. But do you struggle to think of things to talk about all the time? Um, I can't say I struggle all the time to think of something to talk about, but trying to talk all the time is a bit of a struggle sometimes. Um, my life just isn't that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do um, yeah <laughs> you can literally see what I do I don't do anything else not very much um, yeah so sometimes I'm like what do I talk about what can I tell you about I can't tell you what I did this week because I've done nothing I've done my work like a good little bee uh, so that I get paid, so that I can do this on my days off. <laughs> um, yeah, but I haven't done anything else. Nothing. Literally just sitting at home crafting. I thought about going and buying some paint the other day, but I didn't. I went for a walk instead. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a interesting little report for you all. I went for a walk yesterday. I actually hurt my back yesterday. There you go, there's something. But that's a bit miserable, isn't it? Nobody wants to hear about that. And as per usual back injuries, um, I was doing nothing. I was actually crouching down to get something out of my bathroom cabinet. And my back just gave out and I landed on my face. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's back injuries for you. What? How did you do that? Were you moving a box or something? No, I was tying my shoelaces, yeah. That's how your back goes out. And my back tends to go out more these days than I do, so... Um, yeah. That's just how it is. I don't... Uh, it's been not so great for a while now, but um, yeah, I really, really did a number on it yesterday, so... Anyway, we'll see. I'm sure it'll come good eventually. 
Meanwhile, at least I can sit. Um, I have done my back previously and sitting was a real issue. So yes, I can sit here and craft. I may not be able to walk or stand for long or anything. Can't even lie in bed for long. It's really uncomfortable. But uh, sitting I can do. So yeah, I'm actually okay with it. <laughs> sucks when you can't sit and you're a crafter and I mean honestly my job is book work and yeah you don't really have much of a choice you sit down I suppose if you can stand for long periods of time I could take my computer to the kitchen bench and work there but yeah no standing is a bit of an issue at the moment so I'll, uh, I'll just sit here and chat to you guys I've actually done a lot more of those uh, lace flowers the last few days um, yeah I've been watching a series with my daughter of an evening and um, yeah just sat there and made lace flowers one after the other after the other so I've got a truckload of those floating around the place now I really have to stop making them um, it's really enough so sorry I'm just cutting open this envelope because I clearly didn't do that before I sewed it into the signature which is fine I generally don't but I should because that would be easier there we are and have a little pocket there for something else Pop a gentleman on there, shall we? I've got this little thing. We'll stick that next to him. Vicar of St. Nicholas Church. I bet he wasn't, but he is now. Hmm. I wonder if it's an upgrade or a downgrade for him. I mean, clearly he came out of a, an encyclopedia. So, um he was clearly somebody important probably more important than the vicar of St Nicholas's church I guess depending on your perspective so it's probably a downgrade but I'm sure he won't complain because by the looks of it he's probably long gone considering his fashion choices I'd say he's definitely long gone so he has now been relegated to the Vicar of St. Nicholas's Church. I hope he doesn't mind too much. I hope the Vicar of St. Nicholas's Church doesn't mind too much either. <laughs> Here I am just defending everybody. <laughs> Okie dokie. Just give that a moment to stick. I picked up my packet of pens yesterday when I was doing a bit of doodling upside down. So I keep them in a bag that are hanging on my door. They're in this case. I pulled it out upside down and as you can see all those pens have disappeared into the bag somewhere. I now have to go digging around in my bag, put them all back in. Tragic, I tell ya. <laughs> See, these are the things that count as news in my house. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope none of you expect anything particularly scintillating from me. Um, you're definitely not going to be living vicariously through me. I literally don't go anywhere. I don't know whether you would uh, consider me a, um, a shut-in. <laughs> I'm a homebody. I am a homebody. I don't hate going out. I just don't love it. Um, don't have anywhere I particularly want to go. 
only the craft store and the second hand stores and I mean you know again that's hardly news I'm pretty sure you will do the same thing so and even when I want to go to the craft store I tend to talk myself out of it eventually <laughs> like yesterday and I was like I, I need some more paints to do some more jelly printing I'm getting into that the jelly printing mood I can feel it coming and I'm like oh I'm going to get some nice paint and I went oh spending money going out driving using fuel Ugh. I think I'll just go for a walk with my dog <laughs> so that's what we did <laughs> I don't know if I'll be taking her for a walk today, my back, but anyway, we'll see. I like to take her for a walk if I can. She really enjoys it. Um, and like I've said before, that's what makes me happy is making her happy. So <laughs> it's funny that most ungrateful little creature on the planet, I'm sure, but yeah. Her joy is definitely my joy. Shall we just stick that there? Just because. Just because we can. Just because it's sitting here on our desk and it's pretty and it's got sort of a few colours I like and, you know, yeah. there was a black thing there that now is gone and yeah little bits little bits I oh, definitely need to put a pocket here don't we we can probably put some more paper over that I think there's nothing particularly attractive about any of those pages so I'll put a pocket on this one somewhere possibly but this one I'm going to need to get some more out. I think. So, what am I going to do here? Maybe not that side. This side. Yeah, I'll put it on this side. Pop it there. Do. But that way works for me better. So it doesn't fit that way, does it? Not really. It does, but but not really. So how about we put that on that side and this on this side? And then we've got a little bit extra general space and we can put a tuck under here and a pocket in the top here. Yep, works for me. It does indeed work for me. I have to give me a moment to work out what my pockets do. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I'm doing. So has anybody been traveling since the end of sort of all the COVID restrictions? I mean, I obviously haven't. Um, I am thinking of going to Japan again. Um, but, yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't really looked into it too much. Um, because I was planning on going to Japan last year. Um, and we still had COVID, well they had still had a lot of COVID restrictions, we couldn't really get there. Um, and just before, well, just before COVID we were planning on going to Japan again, but then you know, it would have been right in the middle of COVID obviously when, uh, when our trip was going to be planned for, so it didn't go. So yeah, I... Um, I have to actually get a move on and sort out something because 
yeah, would like to be there for Christmas again this year. So, um, yeah, we have to uh, have to get our stuff organised. But yeah, has anybody been travelling since the whole COVID thing's been over? I um be interested to hear where you've been and how it's been and whatnot. I uh well the most travelling I've done since COVID was I went to Brisbane that time. Uh, Brisbane, not Brisbane, Adelaide. For my girlfriend's fiftieth, so that was the first and only travel I have done since the beginning of COVID. I don't tend to go a lot of places anyway, so it hasn't been a major inconvenience for me. Um, I know it's been quite inconvenient for a lot of people who travel for work and stuff. But, um, yeah. my family won't be thrilled that I want to go to Japan again <laughs> my daughter will be thrilled because she'll be coming with me <laughs> my son won't care <laughs> although he will be jealous because he would like to go but he has a little baby girl so he's not going anywhere <laughs> for a little while <sighs> yeah I'll bring my granddaughter some cute stuff back from Japan. Right, here we go. We've come basically to the end of the ones that I've actually done something to now. Let's see what we can do with this one. buy these tea bags specifically for batch dyeing um, I do drink tea but these are just like super cheap tea bags that um, I just get in bulk from my sort of local shop and yeah it's super 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 cheap and they're quite sturdy and when I'm done I can empty them out and use them in my crafting so it works for me I'll just get a box of 100 or 200 or something and toss them in a pot or well, actually a lot of the time I will actually put them in my bundles when I bundle dye um, when I batch dye I like to do that and then I get pages with these big sort of brown squares on them as well as everything going a nice tea colour so. there we go it's a bit of something there I've got a little goes up that way do we like that? I think we do I think we're quite enamoured with that actually. Some more of that silent gluing of mine. Stick a bit of glue under there just in case it's not, because it's only held down with a staple. Just in case, let's give it a bit of extra. A bit of extra to keep it in one spot. Um, I don't think I've got anything else here that's going to fit on here. What have we got over here? Toss that out to start with. 
This is a piece of canvas. What am I going to do with that? I have no idea what these say. They're in German. They're a set of stamps I have. Um, basically, I think it says things like mm, the people in this photo have all consented to their photo being used. Yada 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 yada. It's just one well, of those disclaimer things. So yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't mean anything of any import to anybody, but it's just interesting to have a little bit of text there and a little bit of text you can't read is even more interesting in my opinion foreign languages are super interesting probably says something uh, kinder I think is children I don't know <laughs> that's, that's as much as I can tell you <laughs> children under three there you go, something like that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't speak German. I don't even begin to pretend I can speak German or understand German or read German. So, yeah. If you know what that says and you really care that we should find out, then you're more than welcome to let us know. Um, we're not... Uh, I'm not too fussed either way. I'm quite happy to learn something new if you'd like to let me know. <laughs> but, yeah. I am guessing there's not a lot of meaning of any use behind all this stuff. It's, um, it's just something interesting to put in my journal. <laughs> As long as it doesn't say rude things to people in German, I'm okay with it. Don't want that there. It's too busy. Why not? Yeah, I get a lot of my stamps off of AliExpress. Um, I do like to find languages that are not English. Um, because it's just interesting. They seem to have German and French on AliExpress as well as English. They seem to be the the two main sort of languages where they have stamps available. I don't have any French ones yet. I do only have this one German one. So I have one French book floating around here somewhere, a very old French book and a couple of German ones I believe so yeah I like to add a little bit of mm, interesting text to my books if I get the opportunity as you can see there's plenty of English <laughs> I love this page. This is the inside cover of a book. It's just a very old book and it's just this sort of grey green stripe. It's just so pretty. So shall we stick something on it? Just some of these. Oh that's quite cute there. I quite like that. Could make it a tiny side tuck too if we wanted to. It's not particularly, it's not printer paper, but it's printed on something slightly heavier grade than printer paper. So it's not, um, you yeah. know, don't even know where that was there. 
that's not going to take a lot of abuse but I could certainly tuck a little something in there actually does it fit on there probably not yep although that does look cool even when it doesn't fit oh I actually like that a lot <laughs> Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So it gives your pocket a little bit more oomph, if you like. Sticks it on upside down immediately. Well done. on wonky immediately well you know can't have everything hmm. can't even have a straight bit of paper around here so. so it's not going to make our little pocket any bigger because I'm going to glue all the extra down but it will make it a little bit more sturdy now let's see if we can find that page again. There we are. That's pretty cute. I like these, they're old advertisements for plays, operas. A little reproduction ephemera. don't know if any of these will go on here I think it's a bit much it's a bit much don't you think that's actually pretty cute covers up a lot of that purple though which we went to all the trouble to put there but I like it I do I do like it sorry it's just the way it is bit of piano roll paper in that give that a moment to stick you get the idea at least I mean I don't have to do all of this on camera you know I don't want to bore you to death just sitting here sticking things on a page um, yeah but you get the idea I'm just gonna go through and find little bits and bobs and stick them down and find pages I think they fit on and this is a pocket already doesn't certainly doesn't need another one um, I will come back maybe and put some paper over these like lined paper or blank paper or something just so that there's a bit more writing space not necessarily this one but you know these pages that are sort of old book pages like you know, some of this maybe <laughs> although they would make good pockets I might make pockets out of those we'll see we will see but I think I will do the rest of this off camera because yeah it's getting a little tedious I'm sure so you've seen my process you know what I do and then a few scraps in there something um, yeah next time you see her she'll have a few more bits and pieces stuck in her and we might do these inside covers I think so yeah all right guys i'm gonna leave it there i have run out of things to say anyway <laughs> and i need a drink and it's way over the other side of my craft room so 
I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will talk to you again next time. Thanks so much for coming along to have another look through Sophia. Um, yeah, basically all that's left after I've finished um, putting pockets on and whatnot here um, is the front and back covers and stuffing her with ephemera. So yeah whether or not we'll do that both at the same time or whether we'll do them separately i'm not sure but we are almost at the end sophia's almost finished so yeah thanks very much for being here with us and seeing her come together just that little bit more and we will see you again next time <laughs> thanks bye